Hi everyone, welcome to my YouTube channel. So today we'll talk about ACL. So in the ACL, using the ACL you can put a control rule on a specific table. So in our past video, we already created a table called office details. So we are going to operate that table only today. So right now in the office details tables, I have removed all those fields and created two fields. One is the name and another is the note. These two fields are created here and if you remember guys uh, during the table creation we have checked a checkbox called uh, create access control and put the ITL role so it means that it will be create for ACL office details um, related for ACL create delete read write and which will uh, basically have the ITL role it means that ITL user can be able to uh, read write delete and create everything should have access to the ITL user so I have a user let me impersonate that user able tutor so he have basically ITL role and he should be uh, have access to this table of his details and he should have access all these four call test okay and he can create the record write delete and everything he have access read write create everything now we want to make the modifications little bit and segregate that okay so what do we want we want the create and write access should have itl admin user read should have itl user and delete should have admin user okay so we are going to segregate that so right now I have a able tutor who have ITL rule and Abraham Lincoln is the one user who have ITL admin. so these two user are ready with the specific role now I am going to configure the ACL first to configure the ACL first of all you need the security admin um, role to get that role you have to click here and click the evaluate role click the security admin and ok so once you click the ok you, you will have access or you will have a role called security admin that role will allow you to give the access now you have to type the ACL in the left navigation under the system security you will be able to find called access control and here you need to type your table name so our table name is u underscore office underscore details now you can see the create, delete, read, write four ACL is there. If I open one of that ACLs, the first component is called type and type is selected as a record, right? So we are dealing with the record. So we should be able to select uh, the type should be always um, record and the operation. We have a many operation, but we are today we'll talk about the four operation called cart, create, read, write and delete. Right, the cart, create, update, read and delete. So create have a role called ITL, right? So what we want, the create role should have, right now it have the ITL. So ITL can create, right now in the delete also have the ITL. So we want to make changes there, right? For the create, who should be able to create it it should have ITL admin should be able to create the record okay so I just remove the ITL role and put the ITL and save that so create operation operation is the create and I put the role equal to ITL admin so ITL admin able to read the or create the record now I open the delete one right so, so who have who should have access to the uh, delete record so as per our documentation admin should have access to the delete record right so let's put the admin okay so our two ACL is updated and then third ACL is read right in the read ACL who should who should have access to the read ACL ITL right so we already have the ITL but remember 
so when you are creating or writing you are also reading the record right when you creating writing you are also reading the record right so it means that itl and itl admin should have access to read the access table okay and the last one is the update one who should be able to access the update one as per our text that update should have access to the itl admin right so let's put the itl admin here okay so let's refresh this page we have a four acl right so wh what role we are putting here so first for this one office details uh, create we put itl admin as per our upper um, documentation next delete we put only admin so that only admin can be able to delete right next for write we put the itl admin right and for read itl and itl admin right so these are the acl is configured based on our requirement of upper requirement okay it is done now impersonate that user and check that it's working or not first we impersonate abraham lincoln okay and type office details so abraham lincoln have read as per our documentation abraham ring Lincoln have create write and definitely it will have out by default the read access so he will be able to read he should be able to update right and he should be able to create a new record called new record but if you see here he don't have access to delete right now impersonate as a able tutor this user only have itl so if he have only itl he should be able to only read the access so type office details now check that in the top part the new button is removed and he don't have access to write any of this record right even he don't have access to delete and now if i impersonate as an admin i should have all the access by default right read write delete so if i type office details here and see i have option to create new read write and the delete option so that's how we can control our security in our next session we'll talk about that what is the difference between the none and the star acl on the read acl okay we'll discuss that in our next video thank you very much have a great day